Hi guys, Kevin O here and today in our accounting tutorials, we'll be talking about Past 41 Agriculture. So Past 41 Agriculture, as the title would suggest, they are involving plants, animals, and agricultural activity farming. First, before anything else, we need to know what Agriculture Past 41 covers. So it is IAS 41, actually Past 41 then, the same. They apply to biological assets, living plants and animals, with the exception of, take note of this, exception, bearer plants and agricultural produce at the point of harvest. Bearer plants and agricultural produce are also plants and animals, but they are not accounted for at PAS 41. And also, highlight point of harvest. We'll be talking about that more in a while. Biological assets are living plants and animals. Ito po ay mga halaman at mga hayop. Mga hayop. Anyway, living plants and animals. Agricultural produce is simply the product of biological assets when harvested. So, take note of this. They could be harvested from other biological assets or the harvest of a biological asset itself. Uh, what am I talking about? For example, meat. How do you harvest meat? It's by the cessation of the life processes of a biological asset. Ito po ang pag slaughter ng cattle or pigs. Logs as well work the same. Paano mo i-harvest ang plant na to in order to convert it to lumber? You need to discontinue its life processes. However, an agricultural produce can also pertain to fruits, which does not necessarily end the life process of the biological asset itself. In connection to that, our next definition of key terms relate to fruits and its harvest bearer plants ang saya ng bearer plants okay so earlier we were talking about plants harvested for logs or for wood and plants harvested for fruit so a bearer plant is different in a way that it continually generates agricultural produce and are expected to have a definite life of more than one accounting period. So imagine this, a tree that is harvested for its wood can no longer produce more wood next year. Pero a tree that is being harvested for its fruits, I mean, fruits that are harvested from its tree can continually regrow every year. This is a reason why bearer plants was separated from biological assets. Kasi po ang bearer plants, it can be reusable every year. You can harvest it one time and it can regrow fruits again and again. So, bearer plants is accounted for as a property plant and equipment actually, not a biological asset for that reason. So, what you should remember for bearer plants is upon harvest, it does not necessarily cease the life processes of the plant itself. Compared to if you are harvesting the wood of the plant, the life process of that plant would necessarily end. Pero bearer plants, hindi po. If you harvest the fruits, you can still use the bearer plant next year, next harvest season. Moving on. Agricultural activity. Uh, it's important to define agricultural activity so that you can relate expenditures as to whether they are covered under Pass 41 or not. So, may gagastusin ka, it's, is it agricultural activity related? It might be subject to Pass 41. Okay, and the provisions of Pass 41 on how to account for such expenditure. It is the management of an enterprise of the biological transformation of biological assets for sale into agricultural produce or into additional biological assets. That's agricultural produce. Agricultural produce will result to biological transformation. Ito po ang growth, degeneration, and production that can cause changes of quantitative or qualitative. So, quantitative, 
multiplying your biological assets, that's breeding. Qualitative is maybe you are growing your chicken to be sold as meat, so pinapataba mo. And everything else. Biological transformation can be either of the following. Pause the video anytime and read along. For now, let's proceed. Important notes. Una, all living plants and animals are biological assets by nature. Lahat, including bearer plants, they are biological assets by nature. However, not all biological assets are accounted for under PAS 41 because the following are the accounting standards that apply. Biological assets, agricultural produce at point of harvest, ha? and bearer plants. Okay, so let's talk about agricultural produce at point of harvest. Ang point of harvest po is the point wherein you are going to uh, convert a biological asset into an inventory. So let's take for example a chicken. Pag i-harvest ko ang meat ng chicken, ano ibig sabihin nun? The meat that I could gather from the chicken will stop to grow. Wala nang potential for increase in value for that meat kasi na-harvest ko na yan. At that point of harvest, na-classify mo ang meat as inventory na. Okay? That's the sense as well. Kapag i-harvest ko ang fruit from the tree, that fruit will cease its life processes. It will start to rot, deteriorate. So, ano yan? Ang kanyang marketability as a fruit will be determined at that point of harvest. Kaya po ang agricultural produce differently accounted from biological assets. It's because of the cessation of growth. So ganito po, while the chicken is growing, it's past 41. Pero when you harvest the meat of the chicken, it becomes past 2. While the fruit is growing on that tree, that's still past 41. Ang fruit na yan is covered by the standard still. Pero once you harvest it, past 2 na. That's the importance of the point of harvest. So always take note, kailan in harvest. Okay? Bearer plants is past 16. Why? It's used in business. It's Imagine bearer plants is like a factory that produces inventory. Every year, anong ginagawa mo sa bearer plant na yan? You cultivate it, you fertilize it, you prune it, you make sure there are no insects living on it. So ano yan? These are activities that you do in order to ensure na maganda ang bunga. So, it's like you are using bearer plants as a factory plant producing inventory for you. So, those are the accounting standards and that's my brief explanation on how they are accounted for. A living plant is a bearer plant when the following are met. So, just to separate bearer plant from other plants na biological asset. So what are other plants na biological asset? Uh, ito po ang mga plants na hina-harvest for their wood, mainly. Ha? Like timber trees. Timber trees, pinapatubo yan sila in order for them to be harvested as logs. Mango trees are not grown in order to harvest the wood of the mango tree, right? They are, they are grown in order to harvest the fruits. Mango trees are used in production of agricultural produce, which are the fruits, it is expected to bear fruits for more than one period, and it has a remote likelihood of being sold as an agricultural produce except for incidental scrap sale. Meaning, gagamitin mo talaga yan in order to just bear mango, mango fruits. Okay? So, that's a bearer plant. More important notes. Uh, ito, more exceptions from past 41. Recreational animals. Uh, generally, all animals are past 41 except when they are used for recreation. Ano yung recreation? They are animals in a zoo. They are animals in pet stores. They are not used to create more biological assets, right? Or they are pets na like if a company needs a guard dog, bumili sila ng aso. So, recreational animals, actually, actually functional, ano? Pero mainly, recreational animals are animals that are held for preservation and entertainment. Landscaping trees. Alam na natin yung landscaping trees na sasama to sa land improvements. Also ornamental plants, if they can be long-term. 
take note that ornamental plants can also be just charged to maintenance. Uh, it's based on ano, significance and materiality na lang. So, past 16 ang mga recreational animals, landscaping trees, and ornamental plants. A plant with a dual use. Anong dual use? Uh, best example I can give is coconut trees. Uh, coconut trees can bear fruit for several years. I'm not quite certain how many years. Pero there will come a time that a coconut tree will stop bearing fruits uh, profitably. Maybe it still bears fruit, pero hindi na siya ganun kadami. So at that time, kapag hindi na nakakapagbunga ng sufficient enough in order to make it worthwhile keeping, di ba anong ginagawa? Kinoconvert mo ang coconut tree into coco lumber. So if you have bought coconut trees for dual purpose, that coconut tree is not a bearer plant. That is a biological asset. Kasi dual ang purpose niya. You are going to harvest its fruits when it's still capable of doing so. And when the time comes, kapag hindi na siya makapagbunga, you will harvest it as the coco lumber. Okay? So, plant with dual use. Past 41 yan. Bearer animals. Uh, ano to? You raise an animal just to make more animals. So, it's like a sow giving birth to piglets. Di ba mayroong des sa, sa, ano, sa isang farm, palagi yan pipili ng designated na inahing baboy. So, you grow that bearer animal specifically to give more offspring. But nevertheless, that is still accounted for as past 41, unlike bearer plants. Ito, unharvested produce are accounted for under past 41. Take note that fruits are only inventory at the point of harvest. Before harvest, they are still part of biological assets. So for example, ano, at a reporting period, say December 31, nakaschedule ka mag-harvest January 5. By December 31, hindi mo pa na-harvest ang mango plantation mo. Nag-prepare ka ng balance sheet. If the mango trees, the fruits on the mango trees, I mean, have already a fair value, then that fair value can be attributed to unharvested mango fruits as biological assets. Kasi hindi pa siya harvested, di ba? So, take note, point of harvest po ang agricultural produce. Kapag hindi pa naka-harvest, past 41 pa yan. So that's it for notes about classification of biological assets, plants and animals. But before we end, let's have a little drill on identifying the standard for the following plants and animals. Trees to be felled for timber. That's past 41. They are not bearer plants since they are not going to be harvested for multiple times. Cows raised for milk. Animals will always be biological asset unless they are for recreational purposes. Past 41. Pigs grown for meat. Again, that is past 41. Ripe mangoes harvested today, they will be accounted for past two. Take note, agricultural produce at point of harvest, past two. Coconut trees held exclusively for processing palm oil. These coconut trees are past 16 property plant and equipment. They are classified as bearer plants. Coconut trees held exclusively for cocoa lumber. This time, the harvest of the coconut trees will result to cessation of its life processes. Unlike palm trees earlier, uh, palm oil I mean, this is biological assets. Do take note that the classification will mainly depend on what we are using the biological asset for. 
So, always read what the purpose of the plant or animal is. Carcass of a slaughtered swine. This is the harvested form of a swine. That's past two. Just a disclaimer, no animals were harmed in the making of this video. Coconut trees held for copra production and later to be felled for coco lumber. This is a plant with dual use. We account for it under Pass 41. Dolphins raised for amusement and preservation in a zoo. Animals for recreation, they are Pass 16. Since they are not held for production of agricultural produce or procreation of more biological assets. Horse stallion raised for racing. They are now past 16. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.